everybody, this is Roxy, and I am starting to work on my August card swap that I signed up for over at Your Paper Pantry. And I found this. This is my what issue? July issue of Romantic Homes. I love this magazine. And they had a really cute, I don't even know if that's a card or what is that? So I don't know if that's a notebook or whatever. Anyways, I was very inspired by this. I love the scallop border with the little holes inside. And then it has a pretty white doily. But I just like the color scheme and for sure this. But our theme for the swap is ice cream. So I found a really cute ice cream cone kind of shape. I had purchased it last summer from Silhouette. And it actually works well with this because it has hearts on, you know, in that cut out. So it kind of will kind of mimic the hearts here. But I thought it'd be kind of cute to just have that on there. And then I had already pulled out this morning. I first pulled this out and then thought of that using that um, sketch and idea. But I first pulled out, this is Crepe Paper Oh Darling. And I have the 6 by that's a reminder that I have the 6x6 six six pad. Otherwise everything's just kind of in here with another basic gray collection. But anyways, I have all these so I can use some of these up on the card. Or if I want, I could use one of these somewhere. Or and or use some of these kind of transparencies in that. So I pulled those out for this card. And then with that, I pulled out some doilies. And I've got my craft paper for the little border, the scallop border. I've got the paper pad that I'll cut the popsicle out of. And then I pulled some washi tape for giggles and grins and I just pulled out some colors that will hopefully go with it and we'll see how that goes. I even have this one just in case I want to pop it up a little bit. So I'm going to go and cut everything. Um, where's my paper? Oh here. These are, what size are these? Yeah, five by six and a half. The card bases, and I'm just going to use that from Michaels. So I kind of, I might just use. I don't know if you can see it all there. I might cut this kind of a border. I think that's really pretty, and it really ties it all together. So I'm, and I might do some washi tape behind it. So I want to get some measurements, and I don't know that I have a piece of scratch paper. Where do I have? Some? Oh, here. I do I have a little notebook. So, okay, so I totally got derailed from my idea and went off my little hinge. I've had this pack, I bought it last year at Michael's for five bucks. And I did not realize it, but it has crate paper, oh darling, in it. And look at this. Here's the little baby paper. And it's Mama. So I was worried because I only had one sheet of that left, but I had a couple sheets of this. But then I saw this and this, like cassette tapes and tickets. And it kind of just reminds me of summer fun, which reminds me of having ice cream. So I might, I might not do, well I'm going to work on it. Because I've also got, I love these florals. They're so pretty with the, and okay, so I'm just going to work on it and I'll cut stuff out. And then I'll surprise ya. I even have this. This is from another crepe paper pack that I was working on last week. Isn't that weird? Oh, and then I found these. These are really cool. For like the background for the stick and stuff. 
So I got all kinds of options now, which just makes it worse for me. All right, so I'll be back. All right, so I got all my pieces cut. I have my little ice cream cone. I cut the cone out of craft paper and then the ice cream out of some crepe paper. And I'm just going to use um, like stickles or something over it to make it frosty, but just so it looks kind of like rum cherry or something. So, because I cut this, I'm going to make six of them. So I cut this strip out of the roller skates. I thought that'd be kind of cute for like an ice cream parlor, 50s. So this is how it should look. And with a little piece of doily. I'm just going to cut this off. These are just pieces in my stash that I had. I do have these things. Like all these transparencies. I think it needs something. It almost looks like a window. Hmm, like with, you know, like a cute window with awning. I wonder if I could put that up. Hmm. These would all be different though. Because, you know, they with the embellishment packs, you don't really get multiples of everything. I kind of like that it looks like a window. Like an ice cream parlor window. So maybe. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try the window or the awning thing. So I found this paper from the DCWV stripe stack. I'm just gonna see what that looks like. So packaged up. The top, you saw how that ended up with the little tiny awning. And then I rounded the corners on the bottom of the card. And I kind of had cut back on some of the sequins. So there's only a few there. The ice cream bar I had didn't work out. This is what I was going to use. But it just didn't I think you can only use like solid colors maybe. I don't know. I just didn't care for how it turned out. So I went with the NYX Squirrel Ice Cream Cone, which I really love. And the crepe paper and bellies. I didn't use any of them because I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit simple. And I kind of like that the background paper does enough, has enough detail in it to kind of add you know, some extra interest. And the um, the way I did the scallop down here and plus this scallop border, I enlarged it. I'll, I'll do a video on how to do that on your silhouette. 
And I'm imagining that it's fairly the same as if you have a Cricut Explorer. It's just a matter of attaching um, things together so you can create pages like this. I also use that technique on... Oh, let me see if I can get it. Sorry about that little ride there. I use that technique. This is way down on the floor. On this, my December daily, I created this scallop page by welding um, borders and squares together. Um, so I'll do a video on that. Anyways, um, this is my final card and then I use the For You Punch from Stampin' Up and a little um, ice cream cone or bomb pop, whatever that is, from a Dollar Tree uh, puffy scallop or puffy sticker. And then these are just American Crafts, you know, those uh, rolls you can get of ribbon. This is Grow Grain Ribbon from Michaels. So there's my card. I love how it turned out. I would take it out of this package. Actually, I can. What am I doing? Oh, mind is a terrible thing to lose. I, <laughs> I was first going to package this with this sticker on the back, so I had it in my head that I couldn't take the card out to show you guys. Sorry about that, but... There's my card, and I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, I think I would do the this a little bit deeper next time if I made a little ice cream shop window like this. Window, that is. So, there's my card. Oh, and then I stamped. This is from another Stampin' Up! set. Thanks big time. So, thanks for watching, and I will do the video on um, creating pages like this, or shapes like this, I should say, um, for this and for the December Daily shape. Um, thanks for watching, and come and join us at yourpaperpantry.ning.com. We have up to 15 swaps going on, and some at least five every month, um, if not more. So, give us a look for and look see it's only a dollar a month and we have a lot of fun and you get to meet a lot of wonderful women um, so thanks for watching bye